What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week, you don't wanna miss them. For those who are new to the channel, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb, a fifth year orthopedic surgery resident. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about does the name of the school that you go to, does it matter in terms of the cost? You know, the average medical student will come out of medical school with over $200,000 in student loans, which is crazy. The fact that you can get a home mortgage, a interest rate on a home, a home mortgage lower than what you can get on a student loan is ridiculous. You can get a mortgage these days for three to four percent and then you come out of medical school and the interest on your student loans are seven, eight, nine percent. So you have to take into account the cost of the school when you're looking at schools. And this applies to college as well as medical school, any graduate school that you go to. And that's one thing I wish I would have paid more attention to when I was going through the years. And I have another video and I'll put it right up here. But does the name of your school matter? So if you look at two different schools, let's look at Harvard University, which is a really prestigious school, but also very expensive, over 80,000, almost $90,000 per year versus Hartford University. So I've, um, I've heard that before. People would say, oh, I went to Hartford University. You went where? If you, you gotta say it, so they say it, try to say it real fast. So it makes it seem like they went to Harvard, but they actually went to Hartford University. So where the tuition there is around $50,000 per year. So you're saving, you know, thirty dollars to $40,000 per year by going to Hartford University instead of Harvard University. So does the name of the school matter? Well, the answer to that question, the answer is yes and no. When you're applying to medical school as well as well as residency, some programs will give you certain points based off of where you went to school. So if you went to a really prestigious school, you can get more points um, as compared to if you didn't go to a really well-known or prestigious school. So that may help you when it comes to applying uh, to these different programs if you went to a really prestigious school. So the name of your school does matter. It also matters in terms of getting jobs after you know leaving that particular institution for networking, for alumni, different events and different things that you can get with the Alumni Association. Um, so I think the name of the school does matter, but does it does it matter enough to pay an extra thirty to forty thousand dollars? I don't think so. Well, if you can go to a school like Harvard University and pay $80,000 or $90,000 per year for tuition, but if you can get a lot of this, you know, uh, tuition taken care of for, for, for scholarships and stipends, as well as uh, different financial aid that you don't have to pay back, I would say go to that particular school. I went to med school at Georgetown University with school where the tuition is around 80,000 plus per year. I think I looked on their website the other day and it's even higher than that since I left school there. Uh, but if I had to do it all over again, I would not choose a school with tuition that high just to get a name. Say I graduated from Georgetown, a Georgetown grad. I don't think it's worth it. I would have went to George Funk grad, uh, Medical School and then worked my butt off and then got into a competitive residency still. So if you're applying to residency and say for instance, you went to a no-name school versus a really prestigious school, say you went to Yale versus you went to a school called uh, Treetop University the person who scores a 270 at Treetop University is going to have a better chance of getting into a competitive specialty versus someone who scores a 205 at, at Yale. So, but if you put the two together head to head, that person who goes to the more prestigious school is probably going to get looked at closer than that person that went to the no name school. And then you have, you know, the 
they supposedly the you know the best professors at these schools so you at Harvard and Yale and Columbia uh, you have professors who are well known and well respected in their field so you get a better education that's what some people say but for me I would not go to a school I wouldn't recommend going to a school just because of the name now if you can like I said if you can go to a really prestigious school and get a lot of your tuition lowered because of scholarships and money that they're offering you, I would say go for it, definitely. But you don't wanna be on the other side of it in my situation when it's time to pay back your student loans and you have an extra $200,000 in student loans and you are struggling to pay it back because you didn't go into a high paying specialty, but you got this really prestigious name on your CV. Uh, patients really don't care where you went to school. Sometimes it helps when they're looking up doc doctors, oh, this doctor went to Harvard or he went to Yale. But for the most part, patients really don't care. So um, just find a school that will give you a good quality education, and the majority of them will, where you minimize student loan debt. That's the end goal. So if you have a couple acceptances in your hand, look at the tuition costs. Look at the city, how much will I be paying for, you know, living and for room and board and all these other costs and try to look at that from a long-term view 10 years down the line. Where and how much will I be in student debt at the end of, the end of you know, those 10 years once I'm done with my training? It sucks being at the end of your training and all of a sudden they got their hand out and say, hey, it's time to pay back our money now. Uh, you're making, you know, this big bucks now, you should start paying this back. So if you can minimize your student debt, do it. I wouldn't go to a school just because of the name, but if you can go to a really prestigious school and then get your tuition costs and room and board and all that lowered because of other kind of things that they're offering you, I would say do that, but um, I hope this video helps. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.